The first thing we want to do is go to the program page by pressing F6. Then go to the process directory by pressing F2. From this page, you can select the metal you want to use. In our case, we are using copper, so we will use the arrow keys to select it. If you look at the top right-hand corner, you see that the current metal is 3. Now press F4 to select the active metal. The indicator will change to 6 to show that we are using copper. Now we want to change the process by pressing F5. We want to change only two numbers on here, the final thickness and the thickness limit. We are going to change those numbers to 1 kilo angstrom per second. Type in 1000 and press the enter button labeled as E to change the final thickness. Repeat the process for thickness limit. Once we've done that, press F6 to return to the process directory. Then go back to program by pressing F6 again, then go to operate by pressing F6 for the third time. Turn the key lock on the electric beam controller to on and press the green on button next to it. Before proceeding, you must wait for the power supply's cooling fans to reach operating speed. This will take about a minute. The power supply will make a clicking noise indicating that it is ready. Next, press the high voltage on button, then set filament to on. Once the pressure has gone down to the desired level, press start on the deposition monitor. We can now adjust our beam. Center the beam using the latitude and longitude knobs. You need to be simultaneously looking inside of the chamber and rotating the knobs. Once you have done this, widen the beam using the amplitude knobs. Widen the beam as wide as possible without hitting the crucible. Make sure you are looking at the beam while adjusting the knobs. Doing so otherwise can cause damage. We need to shut down the power supply. In order to do this, we turn the off buttons in a counterclockwise direction. We start by turning filament to off, high voltage to off, the button next to the key lock to off, and then we turn the key lock to off. After doing so, we need to vent the chamber. This is done in the same way in which we did in the beginning of this video. After the evaporation, the sample will be hot. Give some time for the metal to cool down before taking it out. Different metals cool down at different rates. Titanium takes the longest at 8 minutes, and gold takes the shortest at just under a minute. Also remember that both the sample and the sample plate may be hot. As a general rule, wait at least 5 minutes for all metals to cool down or until the metal has stopped glowing. Please remember to be safe. After removing your sample and loading the cage, we need to pump down the system. We pump down the system by pressing the stop button and then the start button. After watching this training video, you should have a good understanding of how to use the electron beam evaporator. You should be familiar with the proper steps needed to load a sample, program a recipe, align your beam, and shut down the system. If you have any further questions, please direct them to the trainer for this equipment. Please do not direct your questions to Charlie Turgeon.